positional release to the scalenes, which are connecting from the cervical spine to the first rib. Firstly, let's appreciate other landmarks. You have the trapezius running here posteriorly. Medially, you have the sternocleidomastoid and the carotid artery. The carotid artery, you want to make sure that you're not applying direct downward compression. So we're within this triangle just here. Now, when we need to get the patient's pain tolerance level, we're adding direct compression onto the scalenes. Now, if the patient starts to comment that they are having symptoms such as pins and needles and numbness or increased pain down the arm, you need to ease off your pressure. So with their breathing, as they breathe out, you can add some downward compression until they report their pain score. From here, you need to find their position of ease. So you can rotate towards, as I'm doing here, and add some flexion. Once that patient finds the position of ease, which could also be the opposite, side bending away and rotating away. But once you've found that position of ease, you will hold this between 90 seconds to two minutes. When you've found that position of ease, remember your palpation can ease off and just help you support the patient in that position of comfort. After the elapsed time, bring them back to neutral, nice and slow, Give them another few seconds just to relax. Then you may want to add some movement into the area just to improve or to promote quality and quantity of movement. You can add other techniques such as muscle energy techniques, mobilizations or soft tissue release. The choice is yours.